Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick little update video showing where I'm at with Free Realms being converted. So here I have the assets files opened up. This is the 11th assets file. And uh, it contains, and you can see I've been doing all kinds of crazy experiments, it contains all of the assets, as one might suspect, for this area, in this case, I believe it is the Crystal Rock Mines, just based on the fact that I found uh, this audio, which I looped in there. Okay, so... Uh, I, this is an area I did visit in the game, so I'm pretty certain that this is the assets for the Crystal Rock Mines, but there are also some weird stuff, like there's palm trees and stuff in here. So I'm thinking, uh, I definitely don't recall palm trees near the Crystal Rock Mines, so it might be split between a few areas, but it seems to primarily be taken up by Crystal Rock Mines. Now, we can actually get at the textures as well. They are just DDS files. Uh, oh, uh, so it can't play play the MP3 yet. But uh, as you can see, just more textures, more textures, 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 textures. Very high quality original textures for the game. So this is clearly the textures for all this. Yeah, okay. That's just Earth and View being annoying, but uh, there, these are clearly all the textures used in the game. Um, but the problem is the models. Now the models are an interesting case. I did manage to convert them to, uh, thanks to Fun Realms, he uh, found a little converter script, but it doesn't work all the way. Because I did manage to convert them to OBJ, and let me just open up MeshLab here, because GLC player doesn't like them. You're about to see why. Uh, let's try this one, the bicycle. Now this is just a bicycle. You can see, clearly it is indeed a bicycle. and there, those are all the points that make it up. But that's just the problem. These are just dots floating in space, but they don't have any wireframe. There's nothing connecting uh, these vertices. Uh, this is just the vertices, but with nothing to connect them. And uh, so the converter script only works halfway. Uh, and that's a bit of a problem. Because if we're going to uh, apply texture to this, like the textures that I just found in that other folder, uh, we can't do that unless this is uh, unless we put this together like a to connect the dots game and we uh, put all the UVs in. And uh, it would be better off to just fix the converter script. But I don't know how to uh, fix that. The script is actually written in Python. It was I found it. Well, Fun Realms found it on Google Code. It does work to some extent. But this is exactly the problem, is that they're just dots floating in space. But if there is any hope for Free Realms, uh, it is the glimmer of hope that this script does work, sort of. So, uh, I'll show you some more. Here we have some boardwalks. You can kind of make it out, but once again, they're just dots floating in space with no wireframe between them. We need a wireframe for gonna and, and we're going to need like the actual solid shape if we're going to apply any of these textures to them, put this back together. But you can see that they are indeed boardwalks. I mean this this looks well they look a little bit more like bridges. I don't know what area this is from. I suppose it could be sanctuary. I don't know. Um I don't, I, I don't recognize it. I haven't played Free Realms in such a long time. But this is clearly something that looks like boardwalks, but it, it's just that the script doesn't add the actual shapes. It just gets the dots that are floating in space. That's a problem. Um, we also have a cave spire. Oh, wait. Okay, this is a problem with MeshLab. It seems to be opening the same file twice. Let me try that again. Uh, cave spire, because I, I remember it looking significantly different. Yeah, this is the cave spire. See, this clearly does look like one of the um, points in the cave. Uh, I mean, it just looks like a point in the cave. We also have cave opening, which I haven't previewed yet actually, but it does it does sort of look like a cave opening, like if this is the opening and that's the way in. Um, 
or perhaps it's another way around. It'd be easier to tell if this had textures on it. Unfortunately, I can't apply them because uh, it doesn't have any shapes on it. Really unfortunate uh, that this converter does not work all the way. Uh, but the music is very easy. They're just MP3 or AUG, which are two very common formats. DDS is for the textures. That's like DS contact format. Very common once again. Well, pretty common anyway. Um, it can just be opened with paint.net. There are some more files in here. These are granny viewer files, but opening them doesn't really review any uh, reveal anything. They contain they seem to contain like the animations for the models, but uh and it reveals that the models were made in Maya. That's about all they're useful for right now. Um they don't actually uh I mean, I suppose they're useful for if we ever want to get the animations back somehow, but uh Right now they're just kind of sitting there. These GFX files, uh, my computer says they're shockwave flash, but uh, my friend says that uh, they're more likely shaders, and uh, I'm willing to believe that because it would make sense that there are shaders in here. But uh, really, that's about it. A bunch of shaders, a bunch of granny viewer files which supposedly contain the animations, I think. The audio, which is easy to get at, and the textures, which are easy to get at. The The problem is going to be converting DME to another format, which partially works with this script, but uh, doesn't, doesn't quite go all the way, unfortunately. And uh, if we can fix it up, because, I mean, the code's right here. It's right out in the open. Uh, no idea how to entirely fix it, because I don't know any Python, um, but uh, this is just the code. It's actually a pretty short code, uh, shorter than like a one to open a 3D XML file or something, for example. And um, perhaps this could even be worked into Blender eventually. I don't know. Uh, it does seem to act as if it's able to get the UVs, but I think it's just that this was written for a different version of DME because this is meant for planet side DME which uses the same format but it's quite possible it uses a different version of the same format and that's that's the problem is that and that's why it can't get the actual faces of the model and, and turn it into a wireframe so so close yet so far away um, but there is hope that someday uh, Free Realms models can be converted and who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll actually contain location information of where they are in the world. If not, it would just be a matter of taking all the building blocks and placing them down in the right spots, uh, which would be a considerable amount of work and require people who not only know what they're doing, but remember Free Realms very well and like the Free Realms world is very well. And frankly, even though I know how to move them around, like move the balls around, I do not remember most of the Free Realms world. It's, it's kind of faded from my memory. I, last time I played it was two years before it even closed down. But uh, that's kind of the state of things. And uh, as far as trying to just use the existing executable to host a server, it's probably not going to happen. There are some command line arguments that you can find just by hex editing the exe and looking at the text that's there. They do seem to have an effect, but I don't know because it seems like it's hardwired to check Sony's site first before doing anything and opening. No matter how much you, can you, you change the config or the exe itself, I don't know where it gets the URL from. So the best um, route to go would be creating it over again using the assets, probably, uh, rather than trying to spoof a server for it. Uh, so this, yeah, this is um, pretty much as far as we can get using uh, what currently exists to our advantage right now. It's not very far, but at least it seems possible. But it would require a long time. So that's kind of the state of things right now. That, uh, yeah, just wanted to make a little update on that.